Articles are the most common type of source used in college-level research, whether the articles are from journals, magazines, or newspapers. Website citations are often from online journals, magazines, and newspapers, but we will learn to cite websites later in the semester. This video focuses on developing citations based on the rules in the 8th edition of the MLA Handbook. All MLA citations include several elements, which include the authors, title, publication, date, and location. There are specific rules about how to format each element, so pay attention to details. For any MLA document, make sure to use the hanging indent format for the Works Cited page. That is important to separate the sources from the text of the document. Most MLA documents follow the standard rule of one-inch margins on all sides and use double line spacing. When developing citations, the most important step is to determine the publication format. Books are cited differently than periodical articles, and each of these has subcategories and can be available electronically or in print. Make sure you know what you have and identify each of the citation elements before you begin. Last, never add anything that is not on the publication. Fabrication is just as serious as plagiarism. Don't do it. In MLA, most citations begin with the author's complete name inverted. So put the author's last name followed by the first and middle names. If there are two authors, Put the author names in the same order as on the publication and invert only the first author's name, but not the second. Put the word and between the author's names. If there are three or more authors, provide the first author's complete name inverted, followed by et al, which is an abbreviation for a Latin phrase that means and others. Do not include any titles for authors unless the author is a king or a queen of a specific list of countries, because that is their official name. If no author is identified, simply skip that element and begin the citation with the title. In fact, that's the general rule for any element that is not identified on the source. Just omit it from the citation. However, be careful. You want to include all information available. Also, there are corporate authors. We will work with those later in the semester. Begin by identifying the citation elements. Some of them may be hidden or in small print. Notice that this article is just one article of a regular column in the magazine, but the name of the column is not included in the citation. You might need to refer to the magazine's front cover for the volume and issue numbers. After the author element, magazine citations have the article title in quotation marks with all the main words capitalized. The name of the magazine is in italics with all major words capitalized as well, followed by the abbreviation for volume, VOL period, and the volume number. Then the issue number is labeled with NO period. Then the publication date, month, and year. If you only have the month and year, that's what is used. You can't make anything up. Just include what you have. After the date, put the page of the article. If the article is all on one page, just use one P period and then the page number. But if it has a range of pages, use PP period followed by the page span. If the article is from an online database, Add the database name in italics and the URL to access the article, and close the location statement with a period. If the URL goes on to more than one line, that is okay, but there are specific rules about where the line break can be, so just let the word processing system determine the location of the line break. If you have a big open space, that is okay. It is more important to have the line break in the appropriate place or the link may not work. 
Newspaper article citations are very similar to magazine article citations. Again, identify the citation elements, including the city of publication. Begin the citation with the author. The article title is in quotation marks, and all the major words are capitalized. The name of the newspaper is in italics. Usually the name of the city is included in the newspaper name, but if it isn't, put the city and state in square brackets, and then put the date, month, and year of the article. Don't include the volume and the issue number for newspaper articles, just the page number is needed. Again, if the article is from an online database, put the database name in italics with the URL for the article at the end of the citation and close it with a period. Journals are professional publications and usually provide more in-depth information. This is the first page of a journal article, which often has all the citation elements, but some are difficult to locate or may be in small print. This article has several authors and their degrees are provided for each author and often their institution affiliation is provided. Remember to include the author's full names in the author's statement as previously instructed, but no titles, degrees, positions, or affiliations are included in the citation. Start the journal citation with the author element and close it with a period. The article title follows in quotation marks and again all major words are capitalized. The name of the journal is in italics with major words capitalized, then VOL and the volume number, then NO period and the issue number, followed by the year of publication and the page span of the article. Close the publication element with a period. If the article is accessed from an online database, include the name of the database in italics, followed by the DOI and a period. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier and is frequently assigned to journal articles upon publication. The DOI can be used to quickly locate articles online. If the article does not have a DOI, use the URL to access the article at the database and close the location statement with a period. If the DOI or the URL is divided on different lines, that is okay. They are often long. However, there are specific rules about where the line break can be, so just let the word processing system determine the location of the line break. If you have a big open space in your citation, that is okay. It is more important to have the line break in the appropriate place, or the link may not work. When you look at a list of sources, it is important to recognize the format of each source. Without a label, you should be able to know which sources are books, which are journal articles, and so on. For example, books include the publisher, but articles only include the name of the magazine, newspaper, or journal. Journals and books provide only the year of publication, while magazines and newspapers provide the complete date. What other differences help you distinguish the format of a source? For this tutorial, I included images of articles from newspapers, magazines, and journals available through Google Images. Although they are real articles, and the citations are accurate, if you want my assistance understanding or building citations, I'm available.